Okay, 100%. Shouldn't be 100% until it's actually done. Okay, let's roll that out. Well, we, we do have Ullage Rockets of a kind now. With those little uh, things I put on the side of that stage. So maybe that'll work out alright? I don't know. I don't know if the thrust limiting actually works. So that's gonna be fun. I'll keep the UI up. Okay, throttle is up. And uh, let's go. Uh, difficulty hard. Uh, but with 25,000 funds. So a hard difficulty with 25,000 funds. So maybe it's probably too hard. I don't know. We'll see. Here we go. Okay, it's a little bit wobbly. Ah, uh, it's already. Decoupling makes it go flippy. We'll need to like hot stage it, I guess. We haven't really gotten past one kilometer yet, have we? Make everything fire on one spacebar press and see what happens. That's that's the ticket. Maybe we should get some quick science somehow. We haven't gotten any science yet. Okay, it is the small one. So high thrust weight ratio with fins. So here we go. I don't need to stage, so I'll keep the UI off. All right. Let's see what happens. Oh, this one is uh, this one spins. Um, spinning didn't work. <laughs> spinning, I don't know. Maybe maybe it needs to spin faster. Five hundred. going down. TWR of at least four? I'm not gonna go very far though. Okay, well heck, whatever. TWR of at least four. Eventually got vapor and feed lines possibly because of twisting round and round like that. I don't think it actually ran out of fuel. So we want a thrust weight of at least four. I, I, I don't have a very good feeling about that but hey whatever I don't think we can make one with four not well, I mean we could uh, add more engines okay let's let's go with more engines then let's go uh, cone shaped again I don't know uh, we didn't do cone shaped with that one huh and we're gonna up the length let's let's call it a basic thrust weight ratio of four rather than a sea level thrust weight ratio of four Okay, that's uh, TWR of 4. Seems like it's a little bit of skew on the thing, is it? Let's, oh, wait, wait. Uh, okay, this one has the twisted fins. So we'll have one with twisted fins and one without. I guess it's straight up and down. I'm just looking at it wrong. Okay, so we'll call this Epsilon 1. Every key but the right one. Alright, straight fins for Epsilon 2. Let me let me put an antenna on. Two antennae on. Don't don't worry about how this looks. I I don't know if it's got to do any harm or anything, but uh, we'll call this epsilon three. We need some signs after all. This is supposed to be career mode and everything. Not the best way to put them, but hey, build that and build Epsilon 2. Okay, again, I'm open to suggestions if you guys have any ideas. We've got plenty of funds, as you can see. It only takes like 70 funds to launch one of these, and just by launching our first flight, we got like a thousand. We started off with 25,000. We've now got 26. 
So all the way back down to 25,000, that's just free money as far as I'm concerned. Okay, so here we go again. Testing hypotheses. Okay, rolling that out. Okay, this doesn't sound like the right music. Once we go into uh, black and white mode, it's not going to be right. Aperture science? Yeah, why not? We're, uh, we're not accepting the lemons. Let's put it that way. <laughs> okay, warp to complete. Okay, here we go again. There's a single stage thing. So I'm just going to throttle up. Drop the GUI and let it fly. Oh, we've got a fuse box. Um, fuse box, go away. All right. Okay, here we go again. This is uh, straight fin, no spinning. There's no spinning. Well, now it's spinning. Well, that was definitely worse than the one with uh, tilted fins. Yep, I would say the tilted fins worked a little bit better than that. Space Center. We are we are trying to use roll stabilization, Dark Chaos, though probably not in the way you're thinking of. <laughs> I mean, uh, we we've tilted the fins a bit. May look at far data. Dynamic pressure can cause that. Okay, we'll have the UI up this time then. Far flight data. We don't need smart ASS. It can't. Well, it might be able to control it, but we're not supposed to control it using that. Oh, moving far around causes. Oh, shoot! I I typed the. Uh, I pressed the time warp thing. Okay. All right. We should be fine. Uh, this this is a cone-shaped rocket with. Okay, we need to do some science. Log temperature. Ah, we can't do science from the launch pad. You guys. Realism overhaul is so mean. Analyze telemetry. Ah. Oh. Let's see what goes on here with four of these little uh, Air B engines. I'll keep the UI up this time. Wow! Wow! No, bad. You have stream? Great. Okay. Okay, I don't think I don't think the high thrust weight ratio thing worked out for us very well. <laughs> I don't know, maybe the jury's still out on that one, but maybe the roll still sta we'll try the roll stabilized ones. I don't think that one had the fins tilted. I think uh, the one that had the fins tilted was not carrying the science. So let's warp and see. Yeah, yeah, the, two of the engines failed, actually. Uh, they had vapor in the feed lines or whatever. Okay, um, how's the fins on this one? Uh, they, I think they're tilted. These, the, This is uh, roll stabilized in theory. We'll see how this works. Um, I guess we'll take the UI off this time. It'll be pretty evident how it's going to work out. Here we go. No, no. One died. Yeah, one of them dies. But uh, I think it's just the vapor and the fuel lines thing. If we go to F3 here, You'll see one, well, one of the engines seems to have it at zero, 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 though. Hmm. So is that a problem right from the start? Well, certainly it wouldn't go very far with that going on. Yeah, maybe test flight is kill. maybe it is. You think test flight is actually killing the engines? I don't know. Maybe it's, maybe it is causing a problem. 
which it's supposed to do. Okay, and let's up the size of the fins. We'll we'll have it uh, spin stabilized in theory. We'll see. Maybe it's just test flight that caused all the problems. Well, center lift is bugged out. When you use it in older versions, uh, it was the biggest problem for your early program. If you have to use multiple engines, chances are that one of them fails and everything flips was really frustrating. Looks like it. Still looks very weird, but hey, we're not going very high or very fast, so it can't be that bad. Okay, so uh, that uh, log temperature. Because probably when it's flipping around, I'm not going to be able to reach them automatically. So we'll want that to happen. And we'll call this Epsilon A. Just because. Okay, so let's build that. Tiny Airbees tend to fail all the time. Standard Airbee had a thrust weight ratio of 2.5. Okay, we, we can try that. Uh, hold on. Not that many. Um... I assume 2.5 here rather than C level. And we will call this one Epsilon B. Yeah, I mean, we haven't done any static fires in Mini Rocketeer. So, you know, that would up the reliability of it. Okay, warp to complete. So, this is a version with straight fins. Okay. So this time I'll have the GUI up and we'll see about, let, let's have test flight, no that's ScanSat. Uh, this way, somewhere, I've got too many of these things. Test flight, right, um, you're big test flight, enable flight HUD. That's a flight HUD? Maybe that's better than this whole thing. Okay, okay, uh, we don't need FAR, I don't think FAR is responsible for any of this. I mean, obviously the aerodynamics, but... Yeah, we don't have any SAS. Okay, let's uh, let's see what happens. Okay, so this this whack corporal died afterwards. Engine shut down. That that was after we started flipping around. We've got fins at the bottom, so uh, unfortunately, right now it's not even bothering to show me the center lift properly anyway. Uh, as you can see, the center of lift seems to be very dedicatedly there. And then put a nose cone with the body. Doesn't really move. So I'm not getting much readout on the effect of these fins. Uh, we've seen that the fins have an effect uh, previously, so we know it works, but anyway. Um, center of mass changing moves down, but it should never move down so far that it would cross these. It might be too far away from the center of lift though. We've already got uh, TWR that's closer to 2 on the way. Changing the nose cone, I, I think we've already tried launching one that did, did we? Maybe that's on the way. I think that's being constructed uh, right now. I think we're still constructing those. Let's see what we've got uh, on the construction block. And of course, we just must be persistent. Uh, do not allow failure to phase us. It certainly didn't phase the real space programs. Far UI say? Okay, we, we can take a look. Okay, far. Go, 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 go. Data instability derivatives. <laughs> I don't think it uh, understands any of it. Hmm. It says zero. <laughs> Far says zero.
You had a far problem. But this is the exact same version of FAR that we used to launch the rockets in the other series. Uh, not other series, the, you know, it's Neptune and Titan. But I guess there's no denying it, it's certainly got a problem. Version update last week. Okay, let me see. I really don't think this is far as fault, but yeah, there is a Goldstein update. Okay, uh, let's let's just take one out to the launch pad. We've got two building anyway. Let's check this. So I've got the new far, and I'll do that replacing in a bit. Is the newer far going to be better, or is it going to cause problems? Oh, well. Uh, the game crashed, so I'm gonna replace FAR in there. Long, skinny vehicles would have incorrect second derivatives and incorrect transonic drag. That sounds... suspicious. Okay, so, uh, now the center of... Well, now the center of mass is totally wrong. Or, is it wrong? Oh yeah, it's totally wrong. Center of mass is below the vehicle. Center of mass is inverse. The center of mass is inverted. Oh, wait, wait. Oh, wow. Yeah, smart ASS. Um, we've got complicated problems. <laughs> Yeah, I guess you're right, uh, Dark Chaos. This is strange. Our, our center of lift is off to the side. Center of mass is going... Center of mass... Okay, we'll hold off on the other launches until I clean this up. Okay, okay. Uh, well, okay, for fun, just for kicks, we'll do the launches. And then we'll move on to... Uh, we'll move on to stock. I've had enough of this. So that's why it wasn't working, I think. Maybe. Maybe our rockets would have worked all along, but it's not. If not for this thing, I want to see what uh, I want to see what Far has to say inside here. Oh, you want to rebuild it from scratch? Well, we can't do that with these rockets anyway. The ones that we've already had under Kerbal construction time, we can't rebuild. Hey, Calvito, we're creating chaos. Okay, uh, stun silence for the horror that's about to befall us. Okay, um, Far? Far says these things about this. Throttle up. And, uh, here we go. That was quick. No, it doesn't magically work better, obviously. But we uh, we can't rebuild this rocket. The the rocket was already built. We could fix it. The, well, there was a whack failure. Oh, okay. So let's just get through the rockets that have already been built. Because we can't do anything about those. A more realistic turn? You think so? Oh. Who, who, who ordered the alarm? Why did we uh, why did we install test flight? Cause cause it's it's hard and difficult and things like that. I I have an idea though. We we should we should do a static test of like 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 a huge cluster of corporals. Then we then uh, test flight would be satisfied, right? Cause it have a lot of chance to test it. You can barely tell what's going on with all the changes and mods here. Hmm. Well, that's a problem. I do want my viewers to be able to follow what's going on. 
Oh, uh, th th this one has the instruments? Yeah, this one has the instruments. So if I press 1, okay, well, we, we don't need to do that. Okay, so maybe we can do some science in midair at least. We'll see how, how that works out. Okay, um, let's see. Let's just launch. All of them are okay. It's spinning. It's spinning. Oh, uh, okay. So that something failed. Okay. Um, uh, transmit science quickly, please. And number two. Uh, well, once that finishes, we'll transmit this. Okay, transmit. Yeah, I didn't restart anything. I mean, so this is this is uh, this was built. Now magic is at work and everything works. Okay. Uh, everything didn't work. We didn't finish. We didn't finish the burn. Uh, the test flight got us. That test flight still got us. We have 2,900 meters per second left. This thing's got to explode really, really bad. Well, okay. All right, but we could launch a few more of those. Maybe one of them will go higher. What do you think? Yeah, it, it's not a bug one. It was test flight. So, which one was that? <laughs> It went straight, yeah, it went straight, like Mini Rocketeer said. Uh, a little bit less than your initial uh, estimate on the thrust to weight ratio, though, I think, but KSP version 1.0.4. It's not rotation effect affecting fuel flow. Well, I can't uh, twist the fins any more, I, I mean, any less, because if I try and use this tool, um, it, it tends to reset on this thing. But maybe. Maybe we can try it. I want to launch a Epsilon B as well. So I've reduced the angle. Let's say it is Epsilon C. And we'll say we'll launch one of those. And we'll also launch uh, B. Takes time. No, this isn't. Uh, that's not an RO thing. It's this is Kerbal Construction Time. I added it in Arthur. It's not required. Yeah, don't worry about it. Uh, you can use Realism Overhaul without having that. Uh, and Arthur, uh, let me give you the mods list. That's the mods list. Rotation can affect fuel flow. Okay. Well, I mean, in Realism Overhaul it does, right? Because uh, I've rotated craft and gotten the fuel stable, so it does that sort of thing. Okay, I want everything up. Uh, far we don't need. It doesn't look like it's far that's causing the problem. It's this it's test flight thing that's it, it causing any problem at all. So here we go again. Uh, do we have instruments? Yes, we do. But we're not going to get... I don't think we're going to get a new record or any way of doing those instruments. Uh-oh. Failure on launch. Failure on launch. That was quick. Well, we have to keep trying, right? Uh, in theory, test flight makes it more and more... Fin wasn't connected properly? No, we had it tilted. We, uh, we, we deliberately had it tilted. Maybe too much of a tilt? Well, uh, we, we've been playing around with that. Well, let's see. Uh, let's see what uh, test flight has to say about all this. So, meantime... Before failure, is that what that, that says? That's what MTBF means? 195 seconds. Is that good or bad? Alright, here we go. Okay, they're all good. Spinning is occurring. No throttle, no throttle. OK, 
Okay, I wonder if... I, I think maybe spinning is a problem. I have a radical idea. I think we should put a parachute on. Well, I, I don't see any change. I, I don't see any change in the values here. Well, this one had the full tilt, right? This was the Epsilon B. We reduced the tilt. Yeah, yeah. We, we reduced the um, tilt on the fins on the Epsilon C. So we've already done that. This was the full tilt version. It, the problem was the Epsilon C had one of the engines go out. So we'll try the Epsilon C again. And we'll put a parachute this time. More fins? I don't think keeping it straight is a problem right now. All we need is the engines to keep going. More fins higher up. Yeah, the fuel seems to be a problem. Perhaps only three fins, now we want fewer fins. So this one has less of a tilt. Barely any, in fact. I'm gonna put a parachute. Okay, this this version previous size, previous size, previous size. Oh, next size. Okay, that's the right size. We'll go with that. Okay, let's check our mass and all. Okay, so we'll call this epsilon d. Uh, we tested one with straighter fins, but flipped because we lost one engine. Hence, maybe a second set of fins with all this. All being straight might be more stable. Okay. Well, we can try it. Epsilon E then. Alright, uh, so... Let's make sure they are straight, of course. But, I have to warn you, we have tried straight fins before. With, um... Inadequate success. So, uh, another set of fins higher. Is what you want. Like so. Well, we do have control surfaces, it's just I don't can't control it. <laughs> so, no? What do we want then, Arthur? It needs one set straight, one set tilted. Okay, we'll try the completely straight Epsilon. Don't put them high up. Hold on, we'll try all variations. Heck. Let's build this one. Let's build one with a little bit of tilt on the... Well, I know, well, which one should we tilt? Let's try tilting this one a bit. Oh, that's too much. I think this may cause problems, but we'll find out. Call this Epsilon F. Save. Build. And uh, what else? Uh, Dark Chaos said, don't put them high up. So, in that case... No, no, I want to place things. In that case, we'll have a set that's not tilted and a set that is tilted down here. So there'll be this sort of thing. We'll call this Epsilon G. And then we'll, uh, if we're going to tilt one, we'll tilt the top one. All right. Let's move the tilted one to the top. Keep these straight and in line with those. We'll call this Epsilon H. Well, this is expensive stuff. What can I say? We gotta get this right, right? Right. Don't worry, we do have contracts. If we could get something above 10 kilometers, we'd get a uh, contract filled. If we could get something going 350 meters per second past the sound barrier, we get a contract fulfilled. Looks like we haven't done that yet, which is weird. Okay. Okay, I don't even remember which one this is. Well, this is clearly... Okay, this this looks like the fins are... Oh, this is the slightly tilted one. Okay. Here we go. Uh, we'll see whether all the engines work out. Okay, we have all the engines. Yeah, I can stage. 
Rotation is a bit quick. Okay, we lost that. So it is rotation, obviously. But uh, we'll see how high we go. Well, we're not going to make 10k. Once we start going down, this this is the first one. This is just uh, this is just uh, basic rotation with a parachute. So let's try and recover this. Hopefully the parachute is good enough. Okay, heading back down. I think parachute deployment. Ooh, two parachutes. We got two for the price of probably two. We probably paid for both. 196.23. I think it was 196. Wait. Uh, oh, it was 195, was it? We're, we're not gaining very much here, either way. Uh, yeah, we're, we're, we're not gaining very much in terms of time before a failure. Okay, I, I think we better recover. Oh, crud. Can we still recover something? No? Oh well. Okay, so this is one with a uh, set on top. Let's see, I think these both sets are straight. So two sets of straight fins this time. Here we go. Set to crash any moment. Yeah, basically. Uh, alright, yeah, let's just fire it. We lost one engine. Well, that was quick. One would think they would get faster at building the same model of rocket over and over and over again. I would think so too, yeah. I don't understand it. Maybe it's a difficulty setting. Maybe I should try normal. I think maybe if I tried normal it'd be easier. <laughs> I don't know, there might be some other setting that I'm missing here that's related to all this. But, um, okay, fuel, throttle up. This one has uh, tilted rear fins, straight four fins. So that's the way it is. Okay, so here we go. Uh, one engine down. So on um, test flight, uh, how, how long again? No, we can't check right now. I, I don't like that we can't check. But, okay, Space Center. Oh, you mean if it doesn't launch, then just have it stay on the clamp? Okay, um, I guess, yeah. I mean, if we, uh, we, we, we just won't uh, declamp them, I guess. Okay, Epsilon G. Yeah, if only three engines light don't declamp. Okay. Oh, now it's 200 seconds. 200 seconds is good, sort of. Okay, so we'll uh, stage the engines first. Okay, let's see what happens. Oh, uh, this one is, uh, this was an, all eight fins at the bottom, uh, half of them tilted, half not. Okay, well, it lasted longer this time.
Nothing that is positive. We've gotten beyond 10 kilometers. We fulfilled both contracts. So we got to the designated speed and the designated altitude. So, uncrewed record of 10 kilometers, 350 meters per second. Now, can I retrieve this before it uh, flops? In an ideal situation, we'd have teams ready to recover this. After having been in the bunker, of course. They'd run out and grab it. Just catch you with the hands. Yeah, yeah, all 900 kilograms. Okay, Triumph, and we got science, even. We got science. Three fins would be even cheaper. Well, that wouldn't work for control, would it? Uh, okay. Yep. All recovered. So, shall we go to stock now? I think uh, if I try and launch anything more, this is going to cause problems. So, uh, which one was the successful one? I think it's the one that's currently in the VAB. So, we'll have to consider this our baseline. Maybe we'll just uh, reduce the tilt on the fins that are tilted or something. Come on, you gotta admit this is all nice and cute. Okay, so uh, Epsilon G and we'll, we'll reduce the tilt on these a little bit and then uh, we'll try that again. But it's not 3.4 gig of RAM so it's gonna cause problems. So, uh, here we go, closing this up and switching to stock.